welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see the spring and uh, series stiffness so first we will derive uh, for the series okay so the formula for equivalent stiffness so if you see uh, the springs are series are generally denoted like this okay so uh, here I have just drawn two springs and this is the equilibrium position of the spring. Okay. Now if I apply a load P here, what will happen? Our spring will get displaced from this equilibrium position by amount X we are assuming. Okay. Right now, we will require the stiffness of the spring that is equal to K1 and stiffness of this spring is K2. Now, we know that af after applying the force P, our system will displace by amount X. So, this total deflection is nothing but displacement of this spring, say X1, and displacement of this spring, say X2. So simply I can say x is nothing but x1 plus x2. Right. Total displacement is nothing but displacement of this spring and displacement of this particular spring. Okay. We know that P is equal to K into X. So X is equal to P upon K. Now we will substitute our values in this formula. X is nothing but total displacement hence I will write P upon K equivalent only I will write equivalent here is equal to if you see this X1 displacement is because of this spring okay so we will write P upon K1 plus this X2 is because of this spring so we can write P upon K2 as you know this P is same all over hence we can cancel it so we will get the equation k equivalent 1 upon k equivalent is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 so this is how you can derive the formula for the series now I will show you how to derive the equation for springs in parallel so let's draw one spring here this is the spring 1 this is the spring 2 now here I will show the equilibrium position ok this red line is nothing but the equilibrium position ok when we apply any force P then what will happen our system will get displaced by amount x ok now we will require the stiffnesses say k1 and k2 right as the spring as the system is displaced by amount x because of the application of the force it is nothing but displacement of this spring and displacement of this spring means both the spring will get extend by same amount so we can say x is equal to say this is x1 and x2 so we can say x is equal to x1 is equal to x2 means when you push this both the spring will get displaced by the same amount hence total deflection of the spring is nothing but equal to displacement of these springs hence we can write x is equal to x1 is equal to x2 so what is getting different here whatever p force is there it is getting distributed as p1 and p2 suppose this is 5 so it will get as a distributed 3 and 2 so we can write p is equal to p1 plus p2 
okay we know the equation p is equal to kx so we will put p is the total load hence p is equal to k equivalent into x k equivalent because this is the total system load is equal to p1 so p1 goes here so k1 into x plus p2 goes to another spring k2 x okay or we can say write x1 or x2 also we can write here x1 is there x2 is there but all are same in parallel all are same x is equal to x1 is equal to x2 hence you can cancel it out so you will get k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2 so this is the equation for the springs in parallel now we will solve one example based on series and spring expression so the example is here there is one cantilever beam is given okay to this cantilever beam uh, there are two springs are attached like this okay and the stiffness of this spring is k and stiffness of this spring is k the length of the cantilever is l and ei is given okay now we will solve this spring okay first we will draw the half portion like this this is the cantilever beam and we will show the upper part of the spring only so if you apply the force here the system will def deform uniformly means the displacement of the cantilever and the displacement of the spring will be same means x is equal to x1 is equal to x2 okay this is nothing but your parallel case so equivalence stiffness for this particular we will write as a k equivalent one will be equal to k of cantilever plus k this is the k is given here right so we know that k equivalent or one will be equal to k cantilever k cantilever is 3 ei upon l cube plus k so this is the k equivalent one now we can we can uh, find the equivalent stiffness of the remaining portion okay so this is the remaining portion so here we have converted this as a k equivalent this upper portion as a k equivalent one now we have attached the remaining spring that is k so here you can understand this is the example of series so k equivalent 2 is equal to k equivalent 1 or we can write it as a 1 upon k equivalent 2 is equal to 1 upon k equivalent 1 plus 1 upon k right this is the formula for your series now you just need to simplify put the values 1 upon k equivalent 2 is equal to 1 upon k equivalent 1 is how much it is 3 ei upon l cube plus k plus 1 upon k okay if you simplify this you will get k into 3 ei upon l cube plus k divided by 2k plus 3ei upon l cube 
so this will be your equivalent stiffness of the system we will solve few more problems in our upcoming video if you have any doubt you can ask me okay for this video we will stop here thanks for watching please like share subscribe the channel thank you so much